Welcome back to Fast Market, everyone. Kevin Hinks back here. Now it's time for our cash tag segment. I'd like to bring in the vice president of research at likefolio.com. That is Miss Megan Brantley to the show. The two Kevins say happy Friday, Megan. Megan, when we're looking at AMD, it's been, you know, stamped as the number one competitor to NVIDIA. But boy, is it really competing, Megan? You know, whenever we look at this company and when we look at just the broad landscape, including NVIDIA, we do see AMD as probably the top competition. When we look at just overall consumer mind share, so people who are talking about um, these different technologies in these different companies, we have AMD comprising a larger and larger amount of that pie. And that's, we've seen a pretty significant shift just over the last two years. And so I think that it's definitely, you know, whenever people are talking about, okay, if you can't get NVIDIA, you know, what's the next best, that's AMD. And that's still really, really good. Whenever we look at overall levels of consumer happiness, we actually have AMD higher than NVIDIA. And so I think that this is one that, we're not quite ready to count out. And this is also an interesting scenario because you know semiconductor stocks have been crushed this last week over a lot of geopolitical concerns and um, impacts of potential trade restrictions with China. And we haven't necessarily seen an equal response from the market. When we look at NVIDIA, I think it's trading down about 9% over the last five days. You know, AMD is trading close to 18% lower over the last nine day, five days. And so for us, we're seeing a more severe reaction for AMD. And when we look at our data in terms of what people are actually talking about, um, at least among English speakers, um, we see that demand still very robust and that happiness level still very high. So Megan, I understand the uh, the AI portion of the you know this uh, enthusiasm here when it comes to AMD, obviously, because we know that they're probably the next player in this space. But it seems like it's been way too long for them to bring a product to market that's going to be a viable product here. What are you seeing on the negative side when it comes to the commentary when it comes to AMD? Is it not only just AI or the lack of trying to bring a product to market with a lot of fanfare, or is it other products that they've been a little bit slow with uh, trying to bring to market as well? You know, I think that, you know, supply is definitely something that people are aware of. It's it's also just the ability to innovate. You know, NVIDIA is really the groundbreaker here. They're the one pushing the envelope, and it seems like AMD has been playing catch up. But we do see a lot of chatter building, specifically related to its next accelerator. It plans to release that MI325X. Um, it's allegedly has a better bandwidth and memory, and that's something that users are excited about, but they, like like you mentioned, they want to see it now. Um, they want to see it soon. And so this is something that we'll be closely watching because it could be a nice um, growth prospect for AMD when they do release this chip will be, or this accelerator will be listening really closely for what that consumer demand looks like, we assume very high. But um, I think there's also just a concern for a slowdown in growth that, you know, are things going to start to temper out after a lot of explosive growth that's driven by this AI interest? You know, Megan, when I look at your consumer happiness chart, I see that AMD is four points higher than NVIDIA. NVIDIA, though, the clear number one. How much of that do you think is... Well, I'm frustrated because I can't get NVIDIA. I can get AMD, but settling for second, I like that. You know, you're right. The, the right answer to this question is both of them are really good. One's just <laughs> crazy good, and the other one's really, really good. But are, do you think NVIDIA's customers are frustrated because they can't get the chips? I think that that's definitely an element of it. You know, we do see AMD touting partnerships with people like Microsoft Azure, like Dell. Um, we see a lot of large players who are using AMD's chips because they need these chips now to compete in AI. You know, AI is developing so rapidly that you know, these tech companies, they need to get a hold of this technology so that they can continue to push the envelope in their own fields and power their own AI workloads. And so, you know, if you can get something right now, that's a lot better than something in a few months. And so I think that that definitely could play into AMD's favor. But just overall, all we do see, you know, we think we're still in the very, very early innings of AI. And I think that this is not just a flash in the pan type of event where there was this massive interest in AI and it's going to wane. We see this continuing to build, continuing to grow. So if AMD can continue to um, compete and continue to improve, we think that that's really positive for the company because the demand will certainly be there.
So Megan, on the software side of the equation here when it comes to AI, because we've already talked about hardware, are you seeing any type of differences there as well? I mean, NVIDIA, even though it's a very small slice of their overall revenue mix, seems like they are trying to ramp up the software platform to complement the GPUs that they're putting into the space. AMD is going more open source and maybe takes a little bit longer in order for it to develop. Are you seeing any type of split there on the software side or if you're seeing any comments at all? <laughs> You know, our, our mentions, just because we're listening to like your typical consumer, I think that that's a little bit deeper than most consumers go whenever they're comparing AMD and NVIDIA. So I don't have as, as much insight to give you from the consumer side there, but I do think that it's interesting to see NVIDIA uh, making a play there and making improvements there. If anything, in a way, it seems like iron sharpens iron. And so if that may light a fire under AMD to continue to improve and continue to innovate. Yeah, I don't know what Kevin just said there either, so don't worry about it, Megan. <laughs> he confused me as well, so he's getting deep into the woods here. We just want to trade, Kevin. We, we just want, is the stock going up or down? Megan Brantley, thanks for coming on so much and spending some time with us. Kev, you have a trade now in AMD. You know, 